Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more NHL 20 Flyers franchise, and we are in a little bit of a pickle. We are in the second round against Pittsburgh, and we are down 2-3 to three in this series, so we really need to step it up because we're not doing too hot. Let's see if we can hit... You know what? I want to go for something a little bit different this episode. We're going to try something a little different because I want to. Why not? We're going to sim this game. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to simulate the first period and see and see what we're doing. All right? And then we'll, we'll hop in and see what happens. So nothing, nothing after one. Two, one, us. Okay. Here's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to continue the sim. Right? We'll go, we'll go max time. And then I'll, I'll pause it if they score. If Pittsburgh scores. I think this could be an intro. Okay, they scored. All right, now it's time to join in. So this could be a short episode. I don't know. We also have to see how long this game goes because I don't want it to spoil the next. Like, if it's too long, I don't want it, you know, all that fun stuff. So I thought this would be kind of an interesting way. That way we don't have two episodes and you guys got to wait for a game seven. So I thought this would be kind of an interesting thing to do. So, yeah. Now, we'll, I mean, if we win this game, I'll probably do another game this episode. Oh, I muted my TV. There we go. But uh, but we'll see what happens. I mean, they got a talented team. So do we. I think we're pretty evenly matched. I mean, oh, that, I don't know if I was on side. But, I mean, you saw the ratings. Or the record, I mean, of, of, our, of both teams. And they're very good. So, both teams. <laughs> but, uh, oh, 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 oh. Nice. Okay, we'll stay with that. Up to Konechny. Oh, Konechny is one of the few players that I don't think I've grown at all this year. <laughs> Which kind of sucks because he's supposed to be like one of my better players. And I think he's like a high top six. I think. I don't know. Do I want to Nah, I don't want to fight McCann. No, thank you. Thought about it, but nah, I'm good. I'm not using my top defender to fight a scrub. Just kidding, he's not really a scrub, but... Well, the Flyers didn't really do anything too exciting in, uh, the ch during the trade deadline. We got Derek Grant and... Uh, Nate Thompson, I think, was the other one. I've heard of both of them, but they're not like, wow. I don't know if I would have traded draft picks for them, but I don't know. Like, draft picks just seem too valuable in, in hockey. And I feel like in hockey, like, each round could be a superstar. You know, like, superstars have come from every round. And I just feel like, like, I don't know. I, it just seems like in football, you get superstar players for even, like, not that high of draft picks, like fourth and fifth rounders. But... It's in hockey. It seems like you don't have to give up much to get like a, you know, a guy not that great. So, I don't know. This is my my thought process, but but oh well, because I think you can get anything from from any round. You know, just hidden gems. But that's just what I think. I just think like uh, we gave up. I, I just don't think. I think we asked for too little when it comes to drafts. Or trades, you know what I mean? We used to be pretty good with trades, I feel like. Believe it or not, um, I think Holmgren was was pretty good for a little bit. And then he got worse. Like, when I first became a Flyers fan, I think Holmgren was a pretty good GM. Like, he got a lot of great guys. He got Briere. He got Hartnell. And I don't think we gave up too much to get them. I think we traded for Briere. If I, I don't remember if he was a free agent, but... Oh, good try. But, um, but yeah, that's just my thing. What I think. Oh, I didn't even do, did I do a like goal? I don't know. 300 likes. But, um, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitch. See the videos live before they go up on YouTube. I also love how they all have, like, the, the yellow shirts. Do the, do they do that at home for us? They should do the Stay Classy, uh, Philly fan shirt with Lou Nolan when he was giving the fans trash for, uh, For what do you uh, for when he when they threw the bracelets on the on the rink, which he absolutely had a right to do. If I was at that game, I would have been disgusted. I can't believe how many people did it too. You should be ashamed if you were at that game and you threw a, brace, a bracelet, especially what those bracelets were for. You know what I mean? I can tell you, Ed Snyder would not have appreciated that one bit. But here we go, over to Konechny, break the tie. Oh. Man. 
Good try, good try. I think that was Frost, and it looks nothing like him. That was either Frost or Farabee. I forget which one, but I know it looks nothing like... The models look nothing like them. Alright. You would think Konechny would have, like, a realistic player model by now, but nope. He does not. Good try there. Jeremiah, thank you for the follow. A welcome to the Dorsal family. Happy to have you here. Stay on your man, Coots. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. Come on, stop stumbling. Oh, my gosh, you ninny. Oh, that works, though. If you can get it. Just slow poke. Oh, connect me. Oh, good try. All right, they got to get off, though. Get out the fourth line for all I care. Quick, hurry. Oh, just kept it in. That would have been nice if he didn't, though. Was Dumoulin always a penguin? I know that my uncle knows him. He apparently coached him. I don't know how young Dumoulin was, though. But I think he was the only one he coached. Like, I think he coached a couple guys, though. Like, a couple professional players. But, um, but yeah. Alright, here we go. I don't know if he's, like, good friends with him, though, but I know he's friends with Mario Lemieux. He, like, has his phone number and everything. I have no idea how they met, but I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely, uh, a cool player to, to actually, uh, get to know. But here we go. We're going OT, guys. This should be interesting. Okay. Sorry about the green screen here. I'll turn my light on so it's a little bit better. Is this good, guys? Just kidding. All right, here we go. What's going on, y'all, on Twitch? How are you? Sorry, it was a very hectic period. Um, I'm doing good guys. How are you got a lot of people asking me how I'm doing? Thank you. Thank you Why did I sim? Uh, I wanted to do a game seven if it if it was possible, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen this episode depending on how long this game is. I don't want to say If we do it or not But here we go, so it might be a short episode. We'll see Oh Nice. Oh, no. Not enough oomph on that pass. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Up to Giroux. Oh, I'm going to lose it here, aren't I? Oh, that was not a good pass. Provy almost got it, though. Come on, Provy. Get back. Oh, I didn't know what was going to happen there. Oh, come on, damn it. Oh, that could be bad. Nice, good play there by Patrick. Can we get this off or out? Here we go. Yeah, we got to get this line off for sure. Hopefully Giroux is heading off. Knight Knee will head off now, which is good. Here you go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Up <laughs> to for a check. Over to or not. Oh boy, that could have sucked. See, they pass it back because they're ninnies. Oh. oh. That, like, it kind of feel like I'm in shock right now. Like, I kind of feel like that didn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how it's going to end. That's how I feel right now. I had a bad feeling about that, too. Oh. Just a bad rebound, and Moran freaking stumbled in the heart. Well, I'll make that two years into this franchise with no cup appearance. Well, at least it's been pretty realistic. You know, like, we're not going to the cup straight away every year, so that's good. But, um, but yeah, Dan, that really sucks. That's a, that's a big bummer. Jeez, well, 
was a pretty interesting game. I know it was a short episode. I was kind of hoping to do Game 7 this episode, but clearly that is not going to happen. But, uh, yeah, that sucks big time, guys. I'm sorry. That's a big bummer, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, there's there's nothing I can do about it, but, um, unless I wanted to be cheap and exit without saving, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. Um, but we do have a big decision to make next year, and that's if we want to bring back Claude Giroux. Now, he is currently going down in overall because of his age. Um, the only reason why it's still pretty high is because of stats, I believe. So... What I was thinking about doing is keeping him on the team next year because I feel like just because you're a low overall doesn't mean your stats won't be good too because I see a lot of guys that go down and over on their old but they're still put up good numbers. So he does have a big contract. I think it's like close to 10 mil. It might even be 10 mil, 10 mil but, um, but he's 33 years old. 90 overall i think next year he's probably going to be like an 88 if we're lucky but um but he is a guy that we have to figure out if we want to keep or not obviously if we got rid of him we do have coots um i think we could have coots konechny and um uh, i don't know maybe voracek on the top line i do want to keep him i don't think getting rid of voracek and, and Giroux would be too smart because we have plenty of guys that could fulfill those roles there's no one yet I think Faraby has potential. Same with Konechny. I think he's a great first-line guy already. Um, but I don't want to have too many just 85s on my first line. I want to have two guys over that at least, and one close to a 90. And Coots is an 87. I think he would be a great first-line center for us. And Well, I mean, he already is, but I know he would be a good just him. You know, I think he would be a good best first-line player. You know what I mean? On our team. But... I do want to keep Giroux. I definitely would. He's just like one of those guys in a franchise mode where you want to keep him till he retires. The only thing that sucks is the contract. You know what I mean? That's what I hate. It's like when guys go down in overall, they go down. You know what I mean? Like guys go down to like the high 70s, and I feel like it's kind of unrealistic. Like I feel like if they're really that good, they should be like mid to low 80s. But I don't know. But they really, I feel like they really, uh, you know, regress too quickly. But anyway. That is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Whether we keep Drew or not is going to depend on uh, the amount of salary space I have for next year. I don't really plan on signing any free agents. I actually don't want to sign a single free agent this year. I love the depth in the farm system. I think that we have guys that can fulfill any role. I think we have too many guys in our farm system, to be honest. So I don't want to sign a single free agent. Um... So I think cap space shouldn't be a problem because I think I might have even already re-signed everyone that I want to. Um, but yeah, but that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for the tough loss. It is what it is. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Next episode, we will do the draft and hopefully we uh, we get some good, uh, some good prospects. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.